My name is Adrienne Mallory. I am the chair and instructor for the engineering and graphics program here at Albany Tech, and I have roughly seven years of experience in the field. Students taking engineering graphics are considered to be the, the graphic designers for the engineering world, and everything that is thought of, any idea, any a piece of equipment, any tool, anything that is thought of in your head can be brought to life and made to something tangible. It is almost the world of endless possibilities in here. Well, we do have all threes with technical certificates of credit, and we have two fields. You can branch off into architectural design, or you can go into the mechanical world of things. Albany Tech has partnered with several schools um, like Valdosta State and Georgia Military College and Albany State here locally where students can take their degree here, their art associate's degree, and uh, take two more years at either one of those schools. It doesn't matter if it's architectural or mechanical and um, finish out their bachelor's degree program. Architectural design is, is what it says, it's architecture. So you go into designing things as small as a tiny home and a tool shed up into something as big as school buildings and skyscrapers, depending on the firm and, and the route that you take. And um, the mechanical side of things though, you can go into uh, the world of dentistry where you do mold for teeth. You can go into automotive design uh, with designing parts. It's almost endless. Like you said, it's, it's the geeky feel and anything that uh, you could possibly think of, you can get into. Um, and also you can take those same tools and do something soft like fashion design. There is a part in the mechanical curriculum where we get into sheet metal, sheet metal flat pattern development. And you can use that same flat pattern development to make clothing. Something that I think is super, super exciting about this program is the 3D printing aspect of it. And just 3D printing in general have, has come so far because once upon a time it was only accessible if you worked with a large manufacturing company and now it's it's consumer ready. Like the average person can purchase a 3D printer online and you can, as long as you have access to software, you can you can print and develop anything. There's jewelry, there's clothing, there's, you know, any toy and trinket that you may like, any accessory can be 3D printed. And we have a variety of different printers in the program that works with different type of PLA, which is a plastic that goes from a soft plastic to a hard plastic and even a powder printer that we can put lots of pretty colors the real world experience for the real world workforce. That's our motto here. So there's there's no point in going through anything in the textbook that I can't show them or, or put let them put their hands on in real life. Working on the prosthetic limbs with limb care teaches us tolerance, dimensioning, and getting things to fit together properly, which is so much better than reading it in our textbook and assuming that we've done it right, because when we print out the parts that they don't fit together properly, then we know that we did something wrong and we need to go back to the drawing board. You're only limited by your imagination. I tell my students that a lot. If you can think it, you can create it. And if you can't create it, you're not thinking hard enough. <laughs>